divine sunshine coming to you with your um see what the new moon energies is bringing in for us and seeing from the twin flame collective as far as those uh wanting union with self and union with our divine counterparts just kind of check it in to see what is the moon energies um supposed to be bringing in this is a new moon so you're supposed to set your intentions as far as what do you want to happen so when the full moon comes that can help to draw those things in i watched bahati life and she was stating that this in this new moon energy might feel like you might want to kind of like go 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 and she was like um she suggests that we go the opposite so when you feel those things that make you say go 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 do the opposite and just say let me just take as the kids say a chill pill and then let um and take it from there and just go with the flow uh, with these energies because we're not preparing. I know it's the, the moon's what in cancer. Um, I'm not astrology and stuff. And we know that's the focus on home, family, um, uh, and there's some other um, things, energies that cancers are known for. Let me see. Let me bring that in here. Cancers, um, they're the sign for... Uh, calm, conscientious, domestic, imaginative, introverted, intuitive, uh, moody, quiet, protective, prudent, sensitive, sympathetic, and tenacious. Uh, they say, I feel. Their words is, I feel. Self-pitying, sulky, touchy, unstable. Uh, so you might have some of those energies. It's kind of like bleeding in there. But understand that it seems like the shadow and the and the um light side of the this cancerian energies that we're in uh again you can let's concentrate on the good things, which is the imagination um the intuitiveness the quietness uh and then also being sympathetic and tenacious. those are the ones that I would like to kind of concentrate on, and that's what's being brought out by these energies that's going on with the moon. So uh, a lot of us might feel more uh, more psychic, more sensitive. Um, I kind of feel that too as well. So, you know, again, shield yourself more, uh, more sympathetic because the veil, my understanding, is thinning. Uh, and so you got really a lot of energies, making sure that you protect yourself as you go out uh, different places, especially if you are deeply empathic or a uh, clear channel, uh, making sure some of these energies that you might be feeling might not even be yours. Uh, they might be others. They might be the collective. It might be DM. It might be family issues that you find yourself purging and getting rid of. All right, so let's kind of go real quickly into and see what's happening. What's the overall moon energies? What's going on with the overall moon energies? Clear. Got two things. I've seen them. Okay, so the overall moon energies we have here is bring love into the situation. So a lot of times, especially with the other things, the shadows that I talked about, the Cancerian things that bring it in, no matter what you're doing, like your intuition, bring in love. When you talk about domestic, like family issues, bring in love. Uh, being sensitive, bringing love, be loving, be understanding, being caring, uh, be gentle with yourself. You know, some things, you know, you might find some things that's happening here lately that you feel like you like you want to hit yourself up to and say, like, what was I thinking? I could have done better. And so you have to find ways to be more like that parent to be able to really kind of calm down and say, okay, you know, speak to yourself like love, like that good friend or even like that mother mother yourself as well uh it is time to release negativity <laughs> uh, so it's time to release negativity this is what's going on with this as well uh and that's what they're saying about those negative impacts uh, of those things uh what they're saying being um, conscientious can be to a fault, very nitpicking about several things, protective, um, tenacious, like she said, and by how they like, like you can be so like, I want to rah, I want to do things, <laughs> I want to do things, 
and uh you know you got to check yourself too as well let's get the negativity in it like i gotta do this 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 it's good to a fault but at the same time if it's over driving you and you're feeling exhausted by it then that's where we get into the negative point about that okay um let's look at the energies For the Divine Feminine with this new moon, what's happening with that? And for the Divine Masculine. Woo, itchy. Okay, so for the Divine Feminine energies and Divine Masculine energies, please remember we house both energies, not one without the other. So when you're looking at it, you need to be sitting there listening from it from an aspect of your feminine self, and then you need to be listening to it from your divine masculine self. Remember, we house both polar energies within us. There's some of us is a little bit more dominant than others. Thank you, those of you all that have participated. It's very interesting to see in the community tab how each person seen that gym shoe different. Uh, I seen I showed it to the DM, and the DM said, I see pink and white. I said, I'd be down. We told the opposite. I seen green and gray when <laughs> I seen it. He's like, what that mean? I said, well, that means that you're dominating your right brain and I'm dominating the left brain. And he said, oh, yeah, you screwed. <laughs> I'm like, what the heck that mean? <laughs> I, said, I said, well, you already know I'm always in my head. Yeah, I know that. Just <laughs> so that, like, that really didn't surprise you, but I believe that I'm right brain i didn't think that was too much true but thank you so very much it's very interesting the dialogue and we're talking back and forth and how us we're pretty much in disbelief about like say what i'm a left brain i could have sworn a right brain so that was interesting to see as well dominant so for the divine feminines here releasing allegiances now i've heard this very much so a lot of people saying about these toxic people that's around you or people that are friends or something about them seems like you know what it were clashing i don't believe we're on the same page anymore i i the allergies are different and you know like my mom said you have to get to the point like my grandma would say you might have to feed them with a long candle spoon some people you don't want to throw the baby out with the bath water but if you know sometimes you have those ebbs and flows and friendships like we're together and then the next minute it's like ah, uh, i don't know we're on two different pages like that. We've all had those kind of friendships, like I call them seasonal friendships. Uh, not fair weather, because fair weather is flaky, uh, is that. But sometimes it's like, okay, they drift off, and then they'll come back in. It's like, oh, okay, they drift off. So it's really, you know, right now we kind of getting rid of the things that burden. If you know you got this friend and it really is not really serving you your best and your highest good, you might want to kind of take introspection to kind of like let it go. Uh, diving for light. Interesting. Diving for light. Looks like in order for you to dive, that means take a deep dive into your emotions and be able to find the light in that. We're dealing with, like I said, a whole hodgepodge of uh, different, especially with cancer and being a water sign. So we're dealing definitely with a lot of water things. We're going back to like Kathy D said, we're going to the point, oh, somebody got problems with communications. It's coming. Um, we get to the point uh, that can throw issues. So we get to the point. Thank you. Uh, with that, uh, we get to the point that we get to the bottom of the coffee pot. And some of this stuff that we have been kind of pushing off and saying we're not going to deal with. Spirit is saying, no, nah, the time is now. Uh, let's deal with that now. Uh, and so this is what I believe that they they are uh, doing. It's interesting. They got... Um, uh seahorses there and i know they're pretty much and that's interesting because seahorses are very uh very paternal so dealing with understanding the father aspect which is to me would be like how are we providing this is what i would say for you and this is what i'm picking up how are you providing how are you protecting and how are you professing what's going on they already said about the uh bring love into the situation and release negativity so to me it would seem like um spirit is guiding you to take on the father role of your own self uh really be paternal in doing this and take this deep dive into what's going on with yourself as well uh understanding pandora's gift 
uh, in order for us, and this is a beautiful card, in order for us to really truly get to what gift we are, we've got to take that masking off of our emotions. we got to take that mask off and really get into it down and dirty. Let's be truthful about the things and practice integrity and honesty in what we are actually doing because there's really a wealth of treasure chest of a lot of things and skills and abilities that we have not even tapped into and i like to say and take those deep dives divine feminine energies to really seeing you know what gift do i have do i have this 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 and really trying to see not even on gifts they saying talent skills and abilities and just looking to see that what things already that you have within you how some of you all have not really taken time to really give homage or even pay honor to the things that you do uh, some of you all might even be in comparison to looking at others and seeing well they got this and they got that and you know spirit and source is saying we've it pretty much have put at least all that good stuff that you specialize in and nobody else has a specialty to it but you and there's nobody who can do it in the way that you do it so it's really pandora's box to be this one is a good thing which is really going in there and getting all of those things out not even just the bad we always think about ooh, but also the good things that we have because it says pandora's gift and that's where it's different how maybe even looking at the shadow of things can also love you too can bring in the the brightness as well also we have the next thing here which is for the divine masculine energy it says trust yourself you got to trust yourself you got to be almost like they say you got to embody all these different animals divine masculines they're saying uh you got to be able it's like the snake you got to molt you got to get rid of identities and personas that no longer be uh, with you some of you all might have to move like a sloth very slow make intentional methodical in what you're doing you got to become like the lion is get some courage in what you're doing um you got the parrot the parrot means also again watch what you're parroting i remember when i was taking psychology 101 and it was saying a lot of times when the clients come to you you pair it back to them i feel sick oh you feel sick oh i'm tired oh you feel tired so you pair it back to them the same words back over again so what things are you parroting over and over again even from your divine masculine or people around you that's why i say it's very it's getting down to crunch time that you got to be very specific and very tailored down to who's gonna stay on your ship and who's got to get off they're not gonna continue on with the voyage with you or the adventure some people are not really and not saying that you're not going to see them again but some of them just like uh you know somebody trying to get altitude on the on the boat. i think i don't know why i keep on thinking about Aaliyah and how they were saying she had too much luggage on there and that's why it crashed you don't want to have too many people and you're trying to get ascension and these people are weighing down the weight of it it could be able to do it but you got too many people so you got to get to that got to be a chameleon get with your environment you might have to change to your environment you might have to change things maybe even things that maybe you want to be like you say i'm not quite there yet divine masculine you might have to find yourself being a chameleon into that too as well what are we destined for okay i'll do that at the end so what is the heart of the matter for the divine feminine What's the heart of the matter with this moon here? That's quite a bit. Can you tell it down, please? Say, nope, the same stuff. It did not. Okay. It's like, I'm not playing with you. That's what I said. <laughs> with this new moon energies. Okay, you're moving into the energies of really having this serious commitment. And I'm going to play this duality that this marriage thing means really much more so in the worldly way. They think wedding is union. So, you feeling as if this really, this idea of union is on your mind very strongly uh, as well. And so why what's going on with that what are they bringing this on to you for because it's going to help you to come to the edge it's freshly emotionally and be able to spread love it's going to help you to breathe this union idea of union whether it's union with self or union with the other person also is saying here 
um, you get into the understanding that it will make you happy, happy, and you have something to celebrate because that's really something that idea of union of coming to self, coming together with self is uh, one way of really being able to really unlock you because right now you might be feeling as if you were locked and this is a whole new world that is going to bring you to but you're not used to and then you got this treasure chest uh, treasure island here again being able that goes back to the pandora's gift again spirit keeps on saying it's the things within you that's got to be unlocked this is the same thing over again a treasure chest here your hopes your wishes fulfilled once you get into the understanding of the union with yourself or uh, uh, the idea of union, I'm just going to stop there and say the idea of union, you fill in the blank right there as to what it is. Although it's going to be slow paced and you got to go with the flow here as far as in your emotions and things, but there's something to be discovered there. This idea when it says about children, so again with you divine, uh, something about with you might be a thing about children. Which would mean to me is like the inner child. They want you to kind of like look at that uh, as well. Like a look as far as how you in your thinking, how you are loyal, how you have mastery over things and how friendly your connections with people and in your emotions. How are you nurturing yourself in your emotions when it comes to it? Because you need to start becoming the observer in this. Uh, as far as what's going on with that inner child uh, doing that. I don't pick up that it's really more so of like outside children. Children, it might be a few, but this is what I'm thinking because you got to get more clever. You got to find a way to bring that heaven and earth together. And you got to have this new beginning as well. Uh, they want you to stay, get into, move into the energies and staying optimistic. They really want you to stay optimistic. They say, not move, I heard something pop. So it's like, no, I don't want you to move until I really want you to become optimistic during this time because you divine feminists have a lot to offer the world. You got a lot to offer. They want you to keep your eyes on the prize during this, the, during this time here because there's some things blossoming and blooming. And again, if you stay optimistic, this is going to help you to get a leg up on the situation. This got a baby here again. So that's again, some child things, some inner child things is coming up to roost uh, about things. And they want you to really pay attention to these red flags, especially when you have this overactive crown chakra going here. It looks like there's some ancestors around some of you all that's really trying to help you all out. They're like, no, don't do that. And they're talking to you. You might, you know, see signs of like somebody leaving pennies or the dimes and nickels. This is what they're saying. When I see this, it's remind me it could be ancestors or your spiritual team too as well. But something about this always remind me it says ancestors. So again, your spiritual guides, your team, they're all chiming in, divine feminine, saying that we're here to help and guide you. Because again, some of you all are getting the mind is over accessible you over plan like everything is okay or you present yourself to the world a certain way and they're like uh yeah but we know you're faking it till you make it because it makes you emotionally if you don't pay attention it's going to make you emotionally just bounce around and not have a, a definite direction they want you to get to the point that you have a direction as to where you're going as well that's interesting it looks like it's a man's face there as well so in your thinking you got to get that together plus again you got this thing which is about uh, why they want you to pay attention uh, again because again this has something to do with you getting into union with again your, uh, your twin flame here because you understand that they unlock you and, they, and vice versa you know the penguins are ones that make for life they don't look for other um, other partners this is it so you know that out there they want you to, again, to stay optimistic and pay attention to the red flags that's going around you because this, again, this twin flame issue here is, again, uh, it's not, as, I want to say, at stake, but it is something that, again, when we're talking about where's the direction that you actually want to go, interested to see how the boat is, this is where you want to head off to, okay, which is to be in union with yourself or with your person because you can look at that and say my feminine and my masculine self have the keys to unlock myself into union and then also you can say my 3d person has the key to unlock myself in in bringing harmonizing together in the 3d in uh as far as the divine feminine energies and the divine masculine energies coming together physically in the 3d 
okay, for the divine masculine. They want you to understand to trust yourself because it is safe to love. You need to open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Highest energy of all, first thing when I seen that is like, which one, what is the highest energy? Is being in your situation where you are? Are you experiencing the highest form of love? Are you settling for love? To me, they're saying again, in your emotions, it seems like again, you want the freedom because this is the feminine here and the divine masculine here wants to kind of stay ground and say, no, no, no. I just go with a foot where I just take my time and I look at everything and make sure every stone has been turned over. And I really don't want to kind of take this because I don't know if I'm ready for that yet. So that's why they were saying it's safe to love. Reason why they want you to get into that mode and understand because you need to be able to be very grounded where you are divine masculine. You got to clear some things up in the air. Clear, clear the air up about some things that's going on with you. You need to also, they're saying it, for you to be able to have that, you need to mend some things emotionally between yourself yourself and others again open your heart to give and receive the highest of love so in order for you to do that they're saying you got to clean some things up stand firm where you are you need to mend things emotionally between yourself and the heart of whomever else it is that you are connected with and again and to me when i see this it means you also have to cut some cords too as well and then again they saying because it's going to stop you once you believe it's safe to love and you can have the highest form of love that's out there it's going to stop that fork in the road feeling like i don't know because a lot of you all again it feel like you want to stick a fork in you you're done you're tired of the monkey business you actually want to have been shown through spirit where actually to go as far as direction and then also but you're trying to go at the by to me when i see this llama this is like an old-fashioned middle eastern way of how they used to travel so using the old template of old paragraph uh, paradigm to get you there you got to use your wisdom and you got to be able to also uh get more knowledge where you are divine masculine so that's what's going on with that what are some of the shadows that you need to work with divine There. for divine feminine and divine masculine okay divine feminine they say hiding yourself your true self that goes back to underneath that cancerian energy which was I remember it came up there which was again protective being introverted okay so that kind of falls into bringing into that and those of you all that maybe have some cancer in your chart or maybe not or again underneath the influence and if that's something that you are experiencing now this is pretty much being intensified again because you're feeling like again the introvert you're not really showing yourself you're only showing yourself to you to you and you're hiding your true who you are and so it's causing you to have that split and you're not really going into one direction uh, as well so that's very important that they saying uh you need to really show the true you divine feminines to um the world with the divine mask you got several things that's going on with you they saying this with this new moon energy understand it's time to release negativity and bring love into the situation uh which is again these anger and change in divine mask so something about the ego something needs to be crossed out Something has made you feel shattered. The source wants you to go and deal with those things too because it's like a chain. It's chaining you to your anger. You And they say they want you to release that. Also about some of you all in these committed relationships, Divine Master. So I said again, they say it's dead. You've paid the price. You tried on all different types of personas as possible. And you may even felt goofy in the situation. But you feel again that you don't know which way for you to turn and go because you feel like each way you go it feels like it turns off the alarm or sets off the alarm for the other person in which you involve with to kind of know so right now you feel like you're in a self-imposed prison because again you have committed or you have married to this ideology of this thing or job or a uh, person or this place and now it feels like you're entrapped and so they're saying right now with this new energies that's coming on especially when we talk about family or domestic in issues here this right here source says right now with this energy with the moon coming you should be handling that 
during this time and then it's going to send the energies too it's going to help you to be able to release that too uh you also have peace uh peaceful among thorns uh they're saying oh it's understanding that you're trying to find a way in shadow to be like i don't want to shake anything up but i hear them saying you need to shake something up because right now things are becoming too settled and some of you all you know if you keep on being in that position there you're going to be uh complacent uh as well so they're saying again they keep saying this energy that's coming in with this moon is for you to release that domesticated domestic means to be tamed as a divine sometimes you're not going to be tame as divine you're going to go and do things that are going to be controversial that's going to be against the grain and so they're saying you know you're not really truly being your true self divine masculines either so they want you to really really bring love in because again if you're being peaceful amongst thorns some kind of way you're probably not respecting yourself divine masculines while you're in that situation you've been giving more homage and more of a uh uh respect uh to the other people's feelings and how they love well as long as they okay then i'm okay i seen that with my dad i just sacrificed you know that's all right you want uh, I didn't forget my feelings. As long as y'all fine, I'm fine. Although you saying saying no, I don't really like this. <laughs> I've seen sometimes we take his dad to restaurants and things like that, and you tell he don't like it, but we love it. And he said no, as long as you all like the food, that's fine, you know. <laughs> but I don't care for it. But as long as you all enjoy yourself, that's what makes me happy. Okay, so now that's peaceful amongst thorns in some ways because it's like I'm not now after this I'm gonna be hungry. I'm gonna have to stop and go to McDonald's, go get me something to eat because I don't really like the food. <laughs> So, you know, we had that many a times. That what we call it. We say he get filled up with bread and water. I <laughs> put that stuff. And so my thing is, is that understanding that you got to be able to, um, you got to be able to now uh, bring love into this situation, which means bring love into you. Practice self-love now. Now it's to put you first doing that it also helps the people around you to be able to love as well what does uh source wanted you to how is your uh connection going to be affected by this moon energy what they saying bring love into the situation for the divine feminines and for the divine mask and how is connection going to be um affected too many too many thank you for the divine masculine how is it going to be affected oh stop the sun is itching for the divine feminists here. Uh, what's going to affect this right now when we're talking about the union aspect is that the divine masculine energies is going to be more in the divine masculine energies into its heart space more. You're going to be open. The divine feminine is going to be open to it. And you're looking like you're looking at the divine masculine in admiration. Something about this moon may make you look and say, oh my God, looks like maybe you might have changed. Because it's looking like, really? Oh, okay. Uh, with this thing. And it's like, oh, that's good. This is a good thing. It's, this carriage here represents change here. And I'm seeing here where there's an evenness of light and dark. So again, trying to bring balance to this light and darkness. Uh, as far as uh, with you, divine feminine. So if you say union with self or 3D, the same thing. So even with self, remember, so within, so without. So again, the, the divine masculine energies according to the connection on your end, which will be within you, is getting more into the heart space and the divine feminine with energies, which will be your emotions, is getting being more open to this coming together within yourself. And so without, which would be the same thing with the divine masculine energies that's connected with you as well in the 3D. You, the divine masculine is going to do something because these energies here that's going to make you feel like, oh, really? Okay, you might be in admiration, you might be awestruck, or something will make you kind of like take a second look at the divine masculine where he is. You see also, again, also in the divine feminine, divine masculine energies for this one. Again, the divine masculine is uh, looking like he's not touched it yet, but he's like he's looking for it to be nurtured by the divine feminine energies he, uh, here as well. Uh, the divine masculine, he's got brown on, so he's got to still work on eliminating some things too. Uh, he's working on what he's working on and that's why he's like I'm not too sure if I really want to be nurtured because again he looks like he's hesitant because at the same time he's working with some material things things in the material world 
he got a pentacle here. Look like which is number 12, which to me is like he's trying to get things in, behind, in divine order behind your back. And you just don't know what's going on. Divine feminine as well. So, but again, the idea of it is for us to both ride off into the sun, uh, off into the sunset or have freedom about where we are. For the divine masculine energies, when we talk about men, so within, so without. So I'm going to talk about how it looks in the 50s. So with the divine masculine energies... He wants for uh, this energy, he is going to ask for a push of both to be in the driver's seat, in the divine masculine's emotions and in the divine masculine's thinking. Again, in the heart space for the divine masculine as well, the divine helping the divine feminine to be open to this connection as well. Uh, again, we got the shield there getting to the thing of like being more so uh, protecting and shielding this relationship as well so again if you talk about it in the 3d the divine masculine energies is getting into his heart space and he's wanting and desiring for the divine feminine to be uh open and he wants to help the divine feminine to be open in this connection okay that's what's going on what's happening with the karmic thing actions is how is the moon affecting that For the divine feminine and divine masculine. Okay, for the Divine Feminine, woo, we got several things. We got a lot of anguish and conflict in our thinking here, which is causing for the Divine Feminine and the thinking karmically uh, to become weary. Karmic means like what lessons do we need to learn and we're still learning. We're not quite there yet. So, again, whatever it is that's conflicting there is becoming very weary in the divine feminine mind. That's why they said stay optimistic. The uh, source said to be stay optimistic and to also uh, watch for the red flags there uh, as well. Um, did I have any ones? Yes, I did. 11, 12, 13. Okay, so with this one, it's saying it, it, it goes back to what they said about oneself. They said again, divine feminine karmically, what things you need to learn is a lesson that you have now learned is that again, you've got the, the shyness, uh, fearing, uh, a fear of showing oneself, clinging to the past, although moving towards the future. There's a hesitancy and there's a shame about some things. You're masking your emotions and you got to work with that, okay? Um, they're also saying, this is in the front here, this is uh, IV, for you divine feminines in your karmic things here, no, it's the opposite. This is interesting, this here represents the man, the father, the symbol of power and i said that earlier i said something about it saying about this father i told you to take on the role of being a father figure to yourself learn how to protect to profess and to provide for yourself divine feminine and it came back out here in these karmic lessons that you got to learn here uh as well ten of swords let's see i didn't get that one i jumped off of that one desperation and waiting for death some of you all are waiting for a, a ending to happen 
like and they say that and they say at the bottom of this this is like this all the swords have been lined dried like it's banned so some of you divine feminists feel like you have exhausted every avenue and everything with this and that's why they're saying it released the negativity maybe the way you're looking at this situation right now when it comes to union you gotta leave that and that's why they say you need to bring love you know because it's easy so you have to get to the point that you have to say i'm not gonna concentrate on the negative i'm just gonna concentrate on the positive okay aspects of some things you know but yes i might have exhausted everything but at least that made seems like i was creative i tried it this way and i came up with another way look at me look at god look at how he worked with me to find other ways that, that i could keep on working at this for you and i didn't give up on myself because i know i deserved love you know it's a positive things instead of looking at the negative for the divine masculine we have the 11 of wands here Okay, which is okay, so right now the karmic lesson is right here that you've got to learn kid is to be um uh you got your guard up again and it's about your emotions, you know. Uh you you your defense you gotta defense against others. And you really, to me, when I see this, you so defending and, and got your guard up that you find a loyalty uh, in the wrong things. Like you pledge an allegiance to the wrong thing. And like they said, for the divine feminine to release the allegiance. And you two are mirroring and doing the opposite there uh, as well. What I'm doing for time. What time is it? It's almost five. Okay. Uh because that sandwich ain't gonna take that long okay so that's what's going on with you so you've got to learn how to take that energy of being defensive and there's something to learn and it's good but learn when you need to use a divine mask because right now you, you're being defensive about the wrong things at this time and you need to if you would take your mask stop doing things from you from the point of view of you masking your emotions you would be able to actually see what's going on okay let me whiz through this real quick all right so what is the energy that um they really want you to kind of deal with for the divine feminines as far as with this energy from the moon here okay these two say rest and rejuvenation goes back to bahati life say stop pushing yourself so much kind of like pull back meditate more you know maybe even again well you say i meditate in the morning like stop no in the middle of the day stop meditate even if it's five minutes just breathing in out five box breathing method anything like that and then really just uh, again the energy here is a happy family to me a happy family is how are you connecting with others you want those true soul family connections that make you happy that empower you not drain you not somebody in the midst that you're saying well i just won't keep it as a good friend but they're energy vampire or they're not adding to the flavor of life for you when we come to the divine masculine here what's the energy they want you to do angel of balance they want you emotionally to become balanced as well look at things like how you did in the past and how that you need to kind of wane that illusion down about how you seeing things as well and the angel of balance uh become balanced in your emotions here uh again when you talk about when you're releasing things you can become balanced it's like a scale when you bring love into the situation you can become balanced you know use that as your um, you know, we had them old balance scales used that go back and forth, back and forth, and you had to kind of find it where it would make it like uh, be able to balance. You know, you got to let love be your gauge as to really seeing how are you truly being balanced in the situation. Okay. Um, I want to see this one. They told me, yeah. What key area, clear, uh, might be in like a little troublesome spot doing these um, for the Divine Feminine, doing this here. Ooh, and right up there. Patience. Learn how to even, okay, patience. Learn how to be able to uh, 
your connection. This is in your sacral energy. So work with that. Again, how you're connecting, how you're manifesting things. Do some sacral work here to be able to help to balance and get you straight on that. Okay? Because it seems like how it's, it's got to do with your connections and you're not patient on that. For the divine masculine, it says the effort. Again, get into your solar plexus. Doing this energies, the Cancerian energies has to do with the solar plexus too. It's rare. That's what Bahati Life has said. So this is funny. This came out. The effort. Stand in your power. Knowing who your identity and who you are. Also, how you connecting to others. That's the center of it. How you manifesting things. This is something. You got the number 13. Something, again, that has to be put to death here. In order to begin something, you got to end something. Again. And then love partnership. This is what they're saying. This is something that's going to kind of give you a little flux here. Because, again, when we're releasing the negativity and we bring bringing love to the situation, it might cause you to kind of really start looking at your current partner in a way that says, okay, this might not be working. This is not helping me to stay in the energy of being angel of balance. Okay? Or you might look in and say, okay, let me kind of look at some things, see how I can mend where I am. Because... Uh, right now, I want to make it better, the best of the situation. You know, whichever partnership and you feel at that time that you feel that you need to kind of work on at uh, at the time. You could be your children. Don't have to be karmic situation or actually the divine feminines too as well. Family, because again, like I say, domestic. So you might say, I want to kind of work on that thing. But your love partnership too as well is again, that's something that they want you to really kind of take the uh, take a look at how you're communicating. How are you? That's the blue, the throat. I told you earlier, my throat was doing something. I say somebody not communicating this partnership there, you know, you might have been checked out. Your words might be saying one way, and we look at your relationship and say, you was checked out. You emotionally and in, in your brain then checked out on that situation. So, you know, you need to kind of let it go. You're not putting any more. I've seen a lot of readers, some of them say, some of you all divine masters are not putting forth any more effort into it. He's like, I'm just here. Matter of fact, you can get a cut out of me and put it in there. And <laughs> just like that that's the divine masculine right there. <laughs> that went on this side. Spirit said, leave it right there. Say that card meant to go for them. Gotcha. Okay. And this is for them. Okay, gotcha. All right, divine feminines. The source wants you to surrender. Surrender to the magic of who you are. We all have magic in us, even in the mundane aspects of life. Remember that you are a magical being with a uniqueness and worth that come from just being you. Remember that, Divine Feminines. Again, and they want you to surrender comparison with other people as well. Uh, they're saying that keep your eyes uh, trained on yourself. Focus on your own strengths and attractiveness and power. Interesting. Oh. Because that's stopping you from really having that Pandora's gift box and really being able to dive for the light within you, Divine Feminines, here as well. Uh, and then they say surrender to creativity. Uh, let your imagination soar. Stay open to creative ideas about how to pursue a dream or solve a problem. They say a lot of times, I was reading up there saying about people who were like... Uh, jealousy and something like that saying a lot of times when you compare yourself which is this is there i don't know if some of you all are obsessive with it and saying this person seems like they always or this one always seem more successful than me and you're doing that comparison of things like that there's like you know go and involve yourself more into that thing whatever the thing that you are uh, jealous or you're comparing yourself to see what is it that you can do you know what do you do better maybe you do something better and then emerge yourself more into that thing uh as well that's going to help you to be uh able to get out of that comparison it's like you know hey so and so can do it guess what i can do it too so that's something you have to do for the divine masculines the source say that you got to surrender denial accept people in situations exactly as they are without denying the difficulties then you can see things clearly and make the make the best decisions that again you got to trust yourself you got to really see the situation for them is and not kind of color it uh color it uh like i say color me bad or anything else other than what it is, it might be your perspective that's making it seem more than what it is. It might be spirit that already showed you a long time ago that that needs to, you need to have let that go. You need to trust your instincts. Your instincts are very good. 
child. You wouldn't be divine if that was so. So, here we go. And so, what's going to be changes? What are the changes that's going to occur? Clip for the divine mask. I mean, divine feminine collectives doing this here, this moon cycle that energies that we are having experienced into the new support. Uh, so divine feminines is again what's going to be support. It keeps on saying about these allegiances, these people that you have here. Uh, you might find yourself switching up, might be finding somebody else, a best friend or or the, how you go about supporting yourself, what things that you add into your arsenal of tools of how to make your feel, self feel supportive as well. Again, getting your solar plexus. Again, this is the time they say cancer rules the solar plexus. So again, how you standing in your power, how you coming up with your own identity as well. So it's getting the downloads that needs to transform to help you to understand and support again comes from the angels. Again, like they say about the red flags that you got to see. I told you about ancestors. Some of them are going to be you to see that also with God. Sometimes down, down the road, God's will change. You get a new guide or somebody different be able to help you as well while you're on the journey. Uh, that's something that you can kind of keep in mind as well. Uh, and then also you got to eliminate some things and you also got to see how you're connected to others and then how you are also um, manifesting anything. But right there at the stem or foundation of it is your heart. It goes back again, bring love into the situation. What's changing for the divine masculine? What's changing for the divine masculine? Okay, we can take all of that. That's quite a bit. They're telling you, divine master, you some things you're going to have to give it a rest. Okay, because you got to get grounded and rooted in what's happening. You got to eliminate some things. This color brown means eliminate, and that's the center of it all. So you can be able to stand in your power, and it looks like your heart is in the background of what's going to be the driving force of this. They said, again, what's going to change over this cycle here is your emotions. You're going to be more so into, like, the love or the high heart here as well. This is interesting because the wings look transparent. So you're probably going to be very transparent with your emotions as well. Divine Masculine, you also with doing this period with this new moon energies. You're going to find yourself as far as you're going to do some self-care according to you here. You're going to really, what they said, what's got to change here is the self-care here. Because uh, they talked about that earlier. They say you're not loving yourself. Here, how are you communicating this? Again, you got to eliminate some things because I see the color brown, but then you make your way to find out that once you get that together, you transform that. What's going to blossom is how you're connecting to others and how you're able to stand in your power. You're also going to be able to volunteer. Uh, you're going to find yourself like really like volunteering yourself for things uh, because this is going to help you to kind of get out to trust yourself as well it's like it's like i'm in my box like no i'm not going to volunteer myself i want to make sure uh for things let me just make sure but that's what i'm picking up because you got to eliminate it's like i want to put myself in situations that's going to make me grow Sometimes volunteer work is the best method of affecting change related to an issue that you're passionate about and also of exploring a new potential career and meeting like-minded friends. This card is guiding you to volunteer in a way that is meaningful for you. So something about it seems like a divine master, what's going to change is you might want to start getting into your mission. This is what's going to change due to this again, because like I say, the introversion, the being domesticated, uh, you might want to, again, take up things that might seem like as family, like in the community as well. You might be pushed to do that. It's like, let me, you know, in the situation you might be currently in, if you're in third party car, uh, or a uh, karmic situation, you might say, I can't do anything about this, but maybe if I go out and start doing work on the mission, that will help me to kind of jumpstart myself too into that. And that's why I feel like volunteering is almost like a distraction. It's like very often it's creating that uh, who is the fork and roll? That was them getting you onto your path because the more you do something else, the more 
uh, you be drawn away from the situation and you have a better perspective about what's going on. So that's what I feel that they're saying about you. And sobriety, this comes back again with your divine master. Something they want you to, some kind of addiction that you're addicted to. Again, they want you to stop cold turkey about this because it's going to help you to get to transform you, getting into your power, who you are, your authority, help these downloads to get in because these addictions are blocking you from really being getting the messages and downloads and understanding from source. And then also your heart space is going to be in the background of pushing forth this happening as well so they really want you again they keep telling you and they told you this before divine masters that and so of my readings previously that you got to get to the point that you're stopping yourself from again participating in things that don't serve you that are not good they're addictive behaviors or addictive things or substances or material things that keeps you in where you are uh, as well so again at the end of the day where do they say um, for the divine feminines and divine masculine once you do this? Where are you clear for this new moon energies? Where are they seeing you to actually be um, going for the divine feminines? What are they destined? So that's what you say the divine feminines is destined at the end of this cycle. What are they destined? What are you setting them up to be destined for? I think I've seen it. And for the Divine Masters, what are they destined to be? Woo I'm a hot number, ain't I? I'm a hot commodity. That's love. All right. You are to surrender. This is wonders. Get you some amethyst. Amethyst, again, is another connection between the... Uh, but they say the veil is thinning, but I definitely know it's a connection between source and you as well. That heaven and earth aspect as well. So, again, it helps you to really get in tune with the wonders, the spiritual. Like I said before, over the weekend, it said it was more so the energy is more so to awaken and heighten you to manifestations of something of a spiritual kind. It can lead into the physical. Also, security. This is what you're destined for, to really be secure. You're looking at things that happened in the past, uh, things that have, like, to be... It says ancestral, too, again. But find us a security as far as where you are, too. Like, almost to me, like the writing is on the wall. You already had been predestined for this, even from far back and in, in before time. This looked like the Big Bang. Then it's the beginning of time, caveman and all that stuff. And now we have, like they said, invention of fire. So back then, all of this, get yourself into action. And because, again, what's all has been happened before you came along, you have destined to have this, again, security. And even right now, again, you're destined healing chaos. That even with the chaos that's actually going on around you right now, divine feminine, especially with these energies that's going on, they are ca ca uh, there's healing in that. You are able to be transformed. Just meditate, like I said, rest, rejuvenate, and stay in the eye of the uh, of the eye of this tornado here or the vortex and let everything just go around you uh as well and just like heal you golden light to heal you around you as you go through this process what's destined for the divine masculine is there going to be some actions especially in the emotions it's like ebbs and flows but it looks like it's going to find its way flowing towards you it's going to back up and then next thing is going to shh, like the big waves it's going to hit you uh, it's going to come crashing to the um, to land on land. So right now it looks like to me it's getting reared up. It's destined that you're going to take some form of action. So you know you may say that. And so then you also have here. This here is that's a uh, is that a crane? Yeah, it is embracing, embracing the new dawn that's coming here. Embracing where you are. Embracing the dance. Be living in the now. That's what you're destined for, uh, you know, because like you say with the cranes there, you know, they do that dance where they go back and forth. It looks like it's opposition. And even though in that opposition of dance and movement, they still find themselves becoming closer and closer just because things seem like they're not going in the same direction or they're going away from you does not mean that it's not coming close to you. So you've got to learn to embrace 
go with the flow embrace but at the same time you got to take some action though you know you kind of looking but you're not standing and just looking and just being idle they're telling you also that you're going to destiny that you're going to take some form of action at the, the end of the day can i get this what is it that all twin flames because of this um this moon energy that we have here clear One card, please. Thank you. My slightest improvement is of such great value. And that's something that uh, I think Behind the Life was talking about, that, you know, just in the littlest things, you know, don't look for grand, big gestures, because even in this energy, as you're resting, you know, again, you'll find yourself... Um, in some aspects, it might be a couple of steps forward, it's a couple of steps back, you know, going back and forth. But again, it's according to your intentions as well. And even if some things that does happen and occur, remember what they say, everything is, you apply love to the situation and that you release negativity as well. And so it, it, every little slight improvement that you make, the uh, Twin Flames, understand that celebrate that find ways to celebrate that i read something that was saying you know find things to celebrate and still have that gratitude journal even when you're going through this period as well because it says there is tremendous value when you are able to deliberately cause even the slightest improvements in the way you feel for even in the small emotional improvement you may have regained a measure of control you no longer feel powerless and so your trek back up the emotional scale is now not only possible but it is relatively easy okay all right then so thank you this is what's going on for the forecast for you in this far is this uh new moon energy and what is going to be bringing in the cycle until we move our way into the full moon this is what is currently going on all right remember to get your love letters get your instant readings as well uh, the love letters are $14. Remember, they are going to be here until the end of July. It'll be $14. And after that, the price will go up. I'll still be offering it, but the price will be going up. And I will be adding a, another feature to it uh, as well. So, uh, again, if you want it at that discounted price, $14, then uh, you you need to uh, get in on it. Go to DivineUnionSouls11.co and I also have my Insta reading as well, which is um, you can get any 24-7. You get answers to uh, whatever questions that you are looking for. Uh, again, uh, it's $7 for the situation reading. I tell you what your situation is and it's $4 for you to get the solution. Make sure that you get into that and look into that as well all right as always stay uplifted stay motivated stay ascending namaste namago love you